Data quality warnings are such a useful feature in Tableau. It allows you to communicate issues with your data throughout the data pipeline to upstream and downstream assets. Here you can see I've got a data quality warning right on my dashboard before I even go in. And when I open up the dashboard, I even get this pop up here to tell me there's a data quality warning. But in 22.3, there's something different about this quality warning. If we open up the details, and just wait for it to pop up. I'll move my face to the left-hand side here. If I click on this warning, you'll see that this data quality warning is on a column. Yes, in 22.3, you can add column level data quality warnings. How do you do this? Well, let me show you. So if I move my face back to the right-hand side and I go back to the Superstore data set and the workbook here, you can see that you've got various tabs from views, data sources, connected metrics, all the way down to lineage. Now to see this lineage tab, you do need to have the data management add-on enabled. It's no longer called an add-on, it's just called Tableau Data Management. It used to be called an add-on, it is an add-on, let's just work with that. So when I click on lineage, you'll see you get this little drop down. Now, what this lineage feature does is it, if I just move my face out of the way again, let me put it up here out of the way. You see a, a sort of a stream of information basically going from the uh, highest level asset, which is going to be a database, all the way down to the lowest level asset, which is typically the owner of the particular asset that you're looking at. So here you have one owner who has uh, potentially owns all the metrics, dashboards and sheets in this particular lineage flow. And then here we're actually at the Superstore data set level. Now, when I had a look at this the first time, I had a real sort of challenge because here you can see that I have no ability to sort of set actions on these column levels. And if I actually switch to the order ID field, which is what you saw had that warning, if I scroll all the way down, let me just see if I can find it. You can see that the quality warning is there. But when I tick the box, I have no real way of adding that quality warning. So where do you add this quality warning? Well, it's actually going to be in the table view. You see here, I'm inside of the workbook. What I need to do is go back one level to the table. You'll see that I have this particular setup. If I select orders, now I am in my uh, orders table and I can actually see the uh, detailed information. If I now go down and I select this little tick, You'll see you get the actions button and now you can change the quality warning for this particular column and this is where the column has been set up now you'll see here i set up a high visibility data quality warning which means it pops up when you open the workbook and it also pops up when you connect to the data source if i just set a standard visibility warning let's just change this here you'll see that all the warnings in this workbook are going to change to blue and once this is saved, let's wait for it to save and let everything uh, sort of refresh. I'll actually refresh the page just to give <laughs> give it a kick uh, so we can see the change. You can see here it changes to blue at the very top. One data quality warning. If I go back to my workbook and refresh the uh, workbook, you'll see that I won't get a pop-up this time. It will just appear as normal. And it's only when I then go to data details will I actually then see this one data quality warning here. And when I click on that, you'll see that I get that detail there. So that is column level. Ooh, I can't say that properly. That is column level data quality warnings now in 22.3. Uh, it's a pretty nice feature. Uh, go ahead and check it out. I've also done other videos on data quality warnings in general in Tableau. So if you just search Tableau data quality warnings here on YouTube, you'll find my videos, but be sure to check all the other videos in this 22.3 playlist. Zone visibility just seems to be the video that's running away with all the viewership. So be sure to check that if you haven't seen it already, but otherwise I'll catch you in the next video.